day five of the trip and episode three. I'm making vlogs every other day because it's so intense being on this trip. Um, we are the last people to leave, me, Dave and Andy, and the rest of the group have gone. But I just needed that extra sleep. I am really suffering. Like, the pain's kind of subsided, but it's um, just so exhausting. I think my body's just desperately trying to repair the muscles that I'm building, like mainly my thighs here. It's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's the biggest physical challenge I've done. But we are like halfway through France, which is a big achievement. And uh, we've got a short 50 mile ride today. We just did two days in a row of like 90 miles, which was a bit too much, but I've done it. I've done it. And I've done it all on this. Hey, this town's beautiful. Check this out. Guys, how beautiful is this? Yeah, I'm feeling much better leaving later in the morning. I'm not down for these 8 a.m. starts. I was dead yesterday. It was so much better today. We made it probably half a mile, and Andy unfortunately has got a puncture in his bike. Uh, so we pulled over. We're having a look at it now. And uh, thankfully, the van is on its way back. We've got an emergency group, um, WhatsApp group, so oh. sent out an emergency message and, uh, and they're coming to save us. Oh my gosh, that is completely... F You're lucky you didn't go through the outside room. The cavalry have arrived. I've never felt more productive. We're just roughing it this morning. We have covered so much mileage. <laughs> I don't think you can even measure what we've done in miles. Yeah. You may as well get your ruler out. <laughs> we've done 12 centimeters today. Thanks, boys. All right, man. That's what we're here for. We're the support. Yeah. And you're bloody good at it. One ten minutes here. Sweet. You don't reckon uh, there's a nail in it or anything? You're right. That's weird. Doesn't look yeah. like anything. No. Don't see anything. Unless it's just under the surface, you know what I mean? And then when you put pressure on it, that is weird. <laughs> so Dave lost his flag, which is pretty vital to be spotted on the road. So he's put his sock there instead. So I think it's quite an ingenious plan, Dave. Yeah. Bye, 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 bye. Thanks. Good luck, guys. See you. See you. See, you, see you tomorrow, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and the double whammy is that I haven't been able to dry any of my washing, but finally my sock is dry. Yeah. So if I just keep alternating all my clothes. Oh, water, you got everything. Yeah. And I might be alright. Yeah, we got everything. Thanks, man. See you at lunch. doing okay it's nice that we're squatting up the three of us I think we've done almost 15 miles today already which feels nice I'm sure a lot of the guys that left at the beginning of the day are probably already at lunch but I don't mind it's nice to keep at my own pace what I don't want to do is exhaust myself 
in the first five days and then and then uh, not be able to complete the trip. So I feel like I'm pacing myself well. All right, time for a little uh, time for a little coffee and a croissant. In this beautiful French village. We're a third of the way there, done 22 miles. Actually, we're a little bit over a third of the way. Just made a little crisp sandwich. How are you guys feeling? So tired. Yeah. the official lunch spot. All the others are long gone. Um, we're just grabbing a little bit more to eat. We're not gonna hang around long. You didn't find any? That's all right, I think this 20 should be all right. I'm putting on the sun cream as much as possible because it is very hot. most incredible thing has happened. The most incredible thing. Okay, so I don't know what town we're in. What's, what's the name of this town? Saint Jean Saint Jean Lombard. In France. This is Millie and Jack who live here. And they they spotted the other guys earlier coming through and saw that they were British and found out what they were doing and offered to let them come chill at their house, have some beers and water and stuff. A little pit stop. And they had a little sign for us as we came through. So we're like, half an hour behind the other guys and it's been amazing. We just had some coffee, some water. Thank you so much, Millie. You're welcome. This has been such a lovely stop. And we're just getting our main water bottles topped up now. It was like a mirage. It was. I was like, are they hitchhiking? Are they selling tea? Oh, no, they're yeah. here for us. Oh, it's very morale boosting. It is. It is I feel morale. like we're ready for the final leg now. This is the little dog. You'd rather dig it into the ground though. This is their hot tub. Look how big their hot no, tub is. Really, I quite like it like that. Really. Oh. Digging's quite obtrusive, isn't it? You can't take it away. It's probably actually just a swimming pool, but I like to imagine <laughs> it's a hot tub. <laughs> okay, we're now with the rest of the team. We're in the hotel for the night. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna let these guys go out for dinner without me, but um, yeah, I need to, need to do some editing. We're just trying to figure out when we're getting the ferry tomorrow. I think it's just a cheeky little ferry across this little stretch here. Yeah. Right, the others are walking down to the beach. Um, this is the sacrifice. You have to make some time to try and get videos uploaded. It's been a bad week for me, guys. One of my worst ever for actually getting videos done. Um, yeah, I think ideally in the future, I've said this loads, but I'd probably bring an editor to join on a trip like this, so they can chill in the van and then um, edit in the evenings and I can catch up some sleep. I think because my body's not used to um, working this hard, it's desperately trying to repair. It just needs sleep and good food and stuff, but I just, you know, it's hard to, you know, to catch up because I'm pushing it every single day. But I'm getting resilient. I'm feeling like I'm pushing through, pushing through that barrier. Right, I've got my, I've got my Nutribullet. I'm going to make a smoothie now for dinner. 
and I've got some other cool stuff like quinoa and stuff. I've stayed in editing, I'm almost done. Um, this is a pretty lengthy process. I'm doing time lapses with the fusion at the moment and I figured out the best way to do it, but it's taken a while. I think if I put in the legwork now, then in the coming weeks when I'm trying to edit, I'll be faster. Bad news is I found out that in, I have to be up in five and a half hours. Realistically, I'm not gonna be sleeping for at least another hour. So I might be getting like four hours sleep and then cycling for another 80 miles tomorrow, which is really bad. And then we can't even take the following day off. So I've got two more days before we can take a day off. Anyway, hopefully I do all right. I'll see you in the morning. Peace out. Enjoy life. Live the adventure. Boom.